What's up, everyone? I'm Aaron. I'm Will. I'm somebody. <laughs> and this is Talking Points. Of course, you see Josh is here. Josh and Will are here, here with me today. Yeah, stuttering a lot. Hey guys. But uh, today is a special day for everybody. Today is May 4th, also known as Star Wars Day. Cue the music, Josh. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a special edition episode of Talking Points. We were able to get Josh over here for the uh, filming of it. You know, usually by the time we get done filming uh, all of our, you know, by the time we get done working in the studio and all that, don't have a lot of time to get together. Well, today was the day we got together, so. As you can see, the set is covered in nothing but Star Wars stuff up on the top. We've actually expanded out the background a little bit more, too. Added some, uh... Don't leave this. Don't leave this. <laughs> by the way, it's Aaron, Aaron's got it, Aaron's got it bad for Boba. Yeah, you can tell, I mean... <clears throat> Boba Fett everything. I'm even wearing a Boba Fett fucking shirt for crying out loud, you know. But still don't look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, didn't you get that Boba oh, yeah. Fett cock oh, yeah. ring in? What's that? Didn't you get that Boba Fett cock ring in? Not yet, not yet. That's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, today we'll be talking about Star Wars related themes. You know, new the new games that are coming out based on Star Wars, the ones that got canceled that we really wanted to see. Thirteen, thirteen. Oh, don't don't get me started on that. That'll be a two-hour video if we uh, continue on with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, shut up about that one. <laughs> the new movie that's coming out, mm. The Force Awakens. Mm. You know, and how we feel about huh? Disney having influence in that. Huh? So anyway, let's start with a. Uh, Let's start with the top news. Uh, oh. Yeah, very funny. Boba Fett will have, you know, two big giant ear, <laughs> earlobes there. Yeah. And his viewfinder will basically start playing, you know, Steamboat Willie in it. Yeah. So anyway, first things first, welcome back, Josh, from uh, the wonderful state of toy of Delaware. Yeah, it only took a second. Yeah, you blinked and you missed it, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, you know, there were some funny pictures that he sent me of the lake of Delaware. That was... <laughs> of course, you know, we, we can probably hear Misty right now, you know... You Fuck just, you guys! You just lost Delaware's demographic. Ooh, all, all I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> are they all like the Are they all like the little people of Oz? <laughs> they are the lollipop girls. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Josh. Josh spent some time in Delaware. Yep. Did drove he, drove by the Welcome to Delaware sign, blinked, and wound up in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So anyway, you know, he missed made a U turn, tried to come back, find a parking spot. Couldn't fit my car all in the same state. So you ended, you ended up stretching it into three states, right? Yep. The Delmarva Pen Peninsula, <laughs> right? The peninsula is actually bigger than the fucking state. Not really. I, I don't. I don't know that. But so anyway, let's let's get on to our talking point stuff. So uh, the first thing I guess we want to talk the, about the the movie. I I'm not. I'm kind of apprehensive about it, honestly. Yeah. I don't seeing the trailer, it looks it looks pretty cool. You know, seeing Han and Chewie back. But Wait, come on, Han Solo's got to use a walker just to get around now. Come on, Chewie, let's go. Chewbacca's in a Chewbacca's in a jazzy. Yeah. That's not that's not him. That's just the jazzy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exceptionally confident that Disney will ruin it. Yeah, that's that's the thing everyone's worried about is is Disney ruining it. I hope not. 
I swear to God, if they replace blasters with walkie-talkies, I will go down to, you know, George Lucas's ranch and George slap him. George Lucas doesn't have anything to do with it anymore. Well, that's the reason I'm going to go down there. Slap him and be like, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah, but walkie-talkies were his thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's well, Disney. They, they still might use it anyway. Yeah, you know, it's Disney. Disney can't use guns and anything unless they're flintlock pistols. Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, that's the only time you'll see one. And even then, they fire like stormtroopers. Well, never mind. <laughs> You know, never ever since the stormtroopers, you know, haven't taken any actual. How do you how do you fucking have a military that can't shoot anything? That that's the fucking question I have for you. Except did, for Ewoks and. Did you see that that picture on Facebook? It was like, what if the uh, people who designed their guns were actually rebels? <laughs> yeah. And and Good knocked point. their aiming modules off. Maybe that's why they can't hit anything. Well, not to uh, touch any exposed nerves with you or anything, but. You know the origin of the stormtroopers. Yeah. Is your buddy's daddy. I know. Well, that's actually <laughs> the clone troopers. The stormtroopers were then diluted according to Battle Battlefront Two. Yeah, they're remember? like regular people now. Yeah, they're regular people. They're yeah, but they weren't good then either. <laughs> you got a good point. Apparently, the same people were fucking training them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a person. When you aim your gun, you want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Or this. <clears throat> you know why they couldn't hit them, right? Those fucking helmets. And and those are not the droids you're looking for. Definitely not. Yeah. These are not the droids we're looking for. Hey, Steve, did you get that? <laughs> Hi-oh. <laughs> <laughs> ba Battlefront looks pretty good, but there's a bunch of rumors going around uh, that there's not going to be any storyline. Uh, you won't be able to drive vehicles and whatnot. Quit speculating, people. We don't know squat about it yet. It's coming out in November. Just wait and see. Yeah, I'm already uh, even. What we've seen is just alpha footage, so that's not even final. Yeah, yeah. It's not even close to being final. But it looks great as it is. So, and you know, like today, Ooh, next gen graphics. <laughs> yeah. They'll, they'll they'll put out the game and then uh, oh, get the season pass where we add everything else later. Yeah, I can't stand that uh, shit anymore, dude. There's supposed to be free DLC wow. in December. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. It's about damn time, it's, video game it's industry. It's about the only thing that's been slightly confirmed. Please tell me it's not going to be Christmas trees on Hoth. I don't know. Or Santa, you know, fighting a giant Wampa dressed as Santa Claus. There'll probably be wow. additional maps or something that they can't meet the deadline for. Like, um. There's a lot of comparisons being made between Battlefront and Battlefield. And. One of the game modes of Battlefield is speculated to be in Battlefront. Yeah. I kind of think that's what the DLC might be. Okay. They don't have enough time to finalize that before the deadline. Well, I think it, it and Battlefront being made by the same group that makes Battlefield, DICE. Yep. Yeah. And EA, which, so. Which, not to piss anybody off, but Call of Duty, Battlefield, in my opinion. Battlefield is boring to me, but that's just me. I'm not even playing Call of Duty anymore either. Yeah, I've given up. Well, if I have that. to play one or the other, I'm going to play Battlefield. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, now we'll go on to the next part, which is... Uh, we have a winner for the ding, 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 show on Wednesdays. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, congratulations. Uh, how do, you want, do you want to say his full name, or do you want to just say... Yep, Steve, Thank a.k.a. You off yourself. Uh, you, you got it right. You, you did win it whenever you said it, but uh, Wednesdays will now be called Whip It Out Wednesdays. But yes, we have some uh, some great entries. Please, other people, don't be butt hurt. Um, there's a couple of them that, that really stuck out to me and the guys. So we But we just thought about intros and ideas about how we would do the intros to it and Whip It Out Wednesdays just... I mean, Whip It Out Wednesdays gave us one of the best ideas for an intro I think we've ever had. We'll probably get more subscribers <laughs> just to see that <laughs> intro and they're like, okay, I'm done. Uh, we watched yeah. it like 30,000 so, times. So Steve, just uh, we'll, we'll talk with you probably... Very soon. Yeah, very soon to get your information so we can send you that one-of-a-kind shirt. How would you How would y'all like to watch the trilogy? I mean... Or the trilogy, the series of Star Wars movies, I should say. There's more than just a trilogy now. Well, personally, if I have to watch them all, 
I like to do it episodically from the new trilogy, one, two, three, going into the original trilogy, the true trilogy. Yeah. Four, five, six. That's just me. I mean, that's, I'm right there with you. I can do either or. It doesn't matter to me, really. I mean, they're all kind of standard. I, I can actually just leave out the newer trilogy and be perfectly content, but to get the full story, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six. When they added in the whole Metachlorians thing <coughs> for the Force, I was kind of... Yeah, I was, I, was, I was pissed about that, too, because the Force was this magic power, and all of a sudden it becomes parasites. Everybody's yeah. got fucking tapeworms <laughs> to give them power. <laughs> give me some of those tapeworms, yeah. please. But you know, you get a tapeworm that sticks its head out your ass, and all of a sudden now you can lift the foot, you can lift the wall with your mind. Yeah, or right. you can shoot lightning bolts from your fingers. Apparently, tapeworms. there's this new thing going around where you're supposed to watch four, five, six, then one, two, three, which to me makes no sense to watch the prequels as the sequel to the original. The original. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just it's a fucking confusing timeline as it is. Thanks, George that, Lucas. And the fucking even, good nope. trilogy came out in the fucking sixties and seventies and eighties. Yeah, and then we get the fucking prequels thirty years later. And I mean, nobody counts the Christmas special <laughs> or the fucking uh, well cartoon or the now non-canon Ewok show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was fucking badass that nobody fucking remembers. Yeah. <clears throat> I have yet to see Star Wars Rebels. I know. Big Star Wars fan, haven't seen Rebels. It comes on Disney. And I just, I haven't brought myself to watching Disney. I don't watch it either. I just... I, I don't like the fact that Disney has that. I, I, fuck you, Disney. Cartoon Network did a great job with Clone Wars, and I knew as soon as Disney bought it, Clone Wars was going to get canceled. Everybody kept saying, no, no, Clone Wars will be there. What happened? They cut that shit. Speaking of cutting, Star Wars 1313. Oh, dude. Don't, promising. Don't you fucking get me started. But we'll keep it limited. But, of course, that got canceled as soon as Disney took over as well. And then what about the, the certain things not being canon anymore? Oh, dude. All of the books. All the previous you, video games. You're just trying to cause me to have a fucking stroke right now. Yes. Hey, that's another thing. If all of the previous video games are no longer canon... Then the fucking Stormtrooper delusion in Battlefront 2 didn't happen. No! <laughs> so the Mandalorians are still at fault for the Stormtroopers being shitty. I just don't understand that because the Mandalorians conquered a fucking planet. That means they would have to learn how to shoot somebody. Well, you gotta remember that <laughs> the, the, the cloners, they probably relax in their training even though Django was supposed to be the one behind all of it. He was just on no, the He bailed. <laughs> uh, he bailed, so. And they died. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. It was. What were what, what were the uh, the race called that did the the cloning? Oh, the uh, did you? Oh, not the Genovians. No, it's not Genovians. Um, that was the bug. They had a long neck. Gen- not Genosians. Um, a fucking long neck people. <laughs> yeah. The long they're, way or something like that. They're they're the reason why the stormtroopers can't. I get feel anything. horrible now. I can't even name a fucking race off of Star Wars today. I didn't know it either. The o- the only thing that I am slightly excited. That Disney is going to do with Star Wars is the spinoff with Rogue One. Yeah. Because one of my favorite video game series was Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And that's basically the storyline that we're getting that is going to be Rogue One. Nice. Nice. Maybe not Luke leading Rogue Squadron, but the Rogue Squadron adventures. Yeah. Just as long as it's not like, you know, gummy bears or anything like that where they all start bouncing around, you know. And they have to drink a certain, you know, Wookiee sauce to jump around, you know. <laughs> Wookiee sauce. I swear to God, if they turn the Wookiees into the fucking, you know, gummy bears or, or the fucking Ewoks. That's it. bears. I'm a Wookiee bear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God, bear. Get Baloo to play, you know, Chewbacca in, like, the Disney spinoff. Of course, I don't know if y'all noticed it, but I do have one Disney character dressed up as Boba Fett up there. It was a gift from my wife. I have to put it up there. It's old Pete. It's bad Pete. You know, he's the only Disney character I did like other than Donald Duck because both of them just, you know, fucking hated everybody else. <laughs> he's the original Angry Bird. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, what are, what are you guys looking forward in the new uh, sequels and stuff that's coming out? What do you hope to see and what do you hope not to see? Canceled. <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard the rumor that Boba Fett will be making a return. 
He'll be old as shit. He won't be able to do anything. <laughs> you know, they have hover. They have hover chairs. <laughs> Yeah, what's this supposed to be like 30 years after Jedi? Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, Luke is like, you know, using a you know, light cane to walk around now. So, I'm kind of confused about that, too, because... Wasn't Han already supposed to be, like, pushing 40? Yeah, so now he's like 80. Or, you know, late 70s. Just like the real, just like the real, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Does that mean that the Ford, fucking Millennium Falcon him. has a handicap tag on it now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I wonder if he'll crash it into a golf course. <laughs> Too soon. No. Speaking of, did you see the Google images of over headshot of where he crashed <laughs> yeah. in relation to the airport? Yeah. He was literally like a hundred yards away from the runway. Yeah. <laughs> did you see the, there was a picture floating around Google of a... Uh, Boba Fett sitting in the woods right beside the uh, plane saying, got you solo. Yeah, so that's now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I put that up on a Newsday Tuesday? I think you did. <clears throat> so, Rest in peace, Newsday Tuesday. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good series. I will remember you. Uh, so, out of all six of the existing movies, which is your favorite? And subsequently... Aaron excluded favorite character. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, it's fucking obvious. obvious. Yeah, true. I can't name a second character at least like. Fine. Django Fett. <laughs> I, there. See, I beat your odds. I don't. I don't really like. Uh, I don't have a favorite, but I do like Amidala because she's hot. Natalie Portman is hot. Like yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but as his favorite film. That is a tough one because there's so many memorable moments. I'll just I'll just be that guy say I like them all equally. Hippie. Not me. <laughs> okay, I fucking hate episode one with a passion. Yeah, pod racing. There's just nothing good about episode one. Well, there was pod racing. Except for Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon Jinn's kind of a badass. <laughs> Liam, Neeson, Liam Neeson. I mean, come on. Yeah. You okay. took my Wookie. Okay. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I will find you, and I will cut you in half with my lightsaber. Episode two. That was a horrible Liam Neeson, by the way. I'm kind of neutral on two. Three, three, three was pretty good. I like three. That. The last thirty minutes of three was good. I could go without four, honestly. Really, the original. Stormtrooper falling over while trying to go through the door. Yeah. <laughs> four is Stormtrooper good. Stormtrooper hitting his head while walking through the portal. To me, four is only good if I'm marathoning four, five, and six. Yeah. Because four is just... I mean, it's like fucking two-part shows on TV. You know, like CSI or something. All of episode one is just set up. Yeah. And that's kind of how I see four. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm watching four by itself... That even though it has a true ending, it's still kind of cliffhangerish. Yeah. Empire is politically boring. I kind of like uh, Empire. Again, last thirty minutes, pretty good. Return. Jedi, original cut Jedi, not no yeah. remastered. Bet you can chicken my mind. Not that shit. If I gotta watch that version after that, yeah. After the Jabba the Hutt section, just fucking blaze in action. Yeah. I honestly believe they could have done without. Uh, I can't even remember the guy, the actor that did Anakin. I could, that's how bad I didn't like him. Hayden Nobody can remember. Yeah, you did. Hayden Christensen. <laughs> sorry, could've... sorry. I, I, I do not want to offend any Star Wars fans for naming that name. But yeah, he, they could have gotten somebody way better. Yeah. That that character was just felt. Like he was constantly crying the whole time? Yeah. yeah too. Yeah, you know who I would have thought would have made a good one? James Franco. Uh, I'm Anakin Skywalker. Ah! No. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm being funny. Film. I'm yeah. being funny. <laughs> yeah, that's another good question. Who do you think would be would have been a better Anakin? I have no <laughs> idea, honestly. Are, um, we, are we talking stupid-ass young Anakin or... All three. Fucking Natalie Portman Anakin. 
<laughs> well, the the kid. In the, <laughs> I like how you. I like how you phrase that there. I had to well, think we all know it. Yeah, yeah, we it had to have happened. I mean, come on, twins. No, I mean IRL. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Um, my question is this. Natalie Portman played her in the first movie, right? Why couldn't they have got someone older since she was supposed to be like, what, 24 and he was like 10? I mean, she was obviously a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George Lucas. You made pedophilia look okay. <laughs> wow. Of course. Well, I think by the time they... Of course, if the woman's hot, pedophilia is okay. <laughs> uh, we do not endorse pedophilia. I think by the time they wampled in the meadow, he was over 18. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He was legal then. While Jar Jar watched from the corner. He's so happy. <laughs> oh, God. That was the worst fucking thing. Mesa is stroking. Mesa is stroking, dude. Rule 34, <laughs> man. I bet you it's there. I bet you it's it, there. If it exists, it happened. Oh, God. I don't even want to think. If it exists, there's porn of it. That, that is the ultimate rule for the internet. What was the question? <laughs> Favorite movie. <laughs> Favorite character, and then I asked who would have been a better uh, Anakin in terms of acting. Oh, and then so uh, did you name your favorite movie? <laughs> no, because y'all just skipped right past me because you're like, we already know who your favorite character is. Fuck you, you can't answer. So, well, your favorite movie. Favorite movie is uh, Empire. Empire. Yeah, because I mean, you get to meet Lando Calrissian, and then you get to watch him betray his best friend for like, <laughs> you know, a few minutes, and then all of a sudden he comes back in the next movie. He's like, hey, I'm your friend again. Remember? <laughs> and I'm wearing your clothes. Yeah. How the fuck did he get his clothes? Or why the fuck did he... Wait, how the fuck did he get his clothes? Because I have a theory on that. Uh, I've actually... I want to hear that theory. So, Lando takes the Falcon, right? Yeah. Han just has a closet full of the same outfit. Like the <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Alright, hmm, you and couldn't have had any better threads. Alright. And Chewbacca's all I'm like... I'm Billy Dee Williams. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are, unless you put this shit on. <laughs> yeah. You know, what if, what if Chewbacca and, was racist? You know, Given the time period I was about to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Given the time period, he was like, all right, let's fly Black Hawn. Yeah. <laughs> Black Hawn down, Black Hawn down. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, we're going to piss so many people <laughs> off with this video. Yeah, we are, I think we already did that with uh, you know, our, our uh, last, mine and Josh's last Fuck story. Fuck Disney. <laughs> This is good for Disney things, not anything else. The last story time hurt my ratings real bad. <laughs> I still haven't got my fans back up. I, <laughs> I like that. Dude, you're totally Paul Walker. You just Paul Walker, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Of course, everybody that's ever played with me and Will knows where we get the reference uh, from. You know, Nick Palm Strike. Yeah, Paul walker -ing. Oh, God. Calling it Paul Walker. Yeah. And then all that zombies. The fucked up thing is that it was so perfect that I actually hit the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! While going fast. <laughs> In the same fucking car. Yeah! Wow. Well, maybe not the same car he crashed in, but the same car that's in the picture. Now, if only you'd have hit a bald guy that looked like Vin Diesel, we'd have had a laugh. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, I think that, that, that went right? to a dark place. Yeah. <laughs> We are fucked up. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I already knew that. That's why we call it Triforce of Chaos. It's, so, it's so throw on this in right quick since we skipped my favorite character, fucking R two D two. Of course. He, he's a smart ass. Exactly. He everything he says is censored. censored. <laughs> yeah. True. Very true. And he's got this little thing that just <laughs> and shoots out stuff. And he's just getting all up. I just <laughs> yeah. Family Guy did it. There's spoofs. He's like, "Come on, baby, you you know you like it." And then the, and then the uh, the, the husband robot door <laughs> module comes in. That that was pretty funny. Yeah. So that that's totally me in robot form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, your, does yours rotate too? Your coupling? Well, I actually. <laughs> We'll need to ask the female consensus of Collin County. Have you ever... Are you familiar with the Sibian? No. It's a female sex toy? No. Basically, it basically, it's a giant fucking motor with a dildo on top of it. The dildo goes... <laughs> <laughs> it, it vibrates and it rotates. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so basically what my wrist was doing right there, you know, like this. So I was like, I bet I could learn to do that. Three months later... 
<laughs> this will be this this will be appearing on X videos, U porn, and Red Tube. Or does Red Tube not exist anymore? Um, it does, but you you, you just want to you, No no <laughs> Big Black Mark. <laughs> Well, we have gone way left field with this video. Well, that's about the right size. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We, we we, just... we, we're going to lose every subscriber on this video. Probably. No, we're going to gain more. You think so? YouTube uh, is a dark place. YouTube works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on. Look at PewDiePie. Dick jokes and boobs. The only reason he gets views is because he's got a hot girlfriend. True. Yeah. PewDiePie, uh, we don't like you. I don't know. I kind of like watching some of those I, I don't like him. I am subscribed. Yeah. I don't like him. TJ! I unsubscribed after he was on South Park. Oh. Uh, I didn't see that. I'm glad I did. It kind of killed it for me. Come on, bro! What the fuck? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so now let's get back into the center field here. <laughs> so, um, I guess now is about the appropriate time to in the special with our talking point. Yeah, we should probably go over last week's talking point. Oh yeah. Let's go over last week's talking point, which was which video game character's death was the hardest for you to take? So, of course. Let's read all of your replies. Sorry, right, what? Yeah. <laughs> Come on people. What, you don't like us anymore? What with the low poly? I'll I'll show you some nipple if that'll do it for you. So anyway, Will says his is all right. Aerith. <laughs> Aerith from Final Fantasy Seven. Uh she used to be called Eris. I don't know why they changed her translation name. Translation error. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Plenty of translation errors, you know. Oh, it's Japanese. Um, um. If you are good to marathon a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII, I would highly recommend Adamant Ditto's playthrough. It's a group of guys and girls. Fucking hilarious playthrough all the way through, and they point out like all of the mistakes and the stuff that's different between the English and the Japanese version. Oh, okay. And if y'all are interested in that, I guess the link for that will be in the description below. Yeah. Um, Boots. Mine was kind of a twofold. It was, you know, Vibby. Did, did he die? Did he, he did die. die. It's, it's hinted at pretty much. It's implied, but isn't... Can, he's back in Advent Children, and that's years after... That's that's wrong game. Yeah, you just went full retard. Yeah, you, you, you just <laughs> did what the Chinese company that sent me that necklace yesterday. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, I get a fucking necklace yesterday with the Final Fantasy VIII Lion, you know, Griever necklace. I was thinking a red in an too. Advent Children package because he was the last of his kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still there. Vivi kind of makes Vivi kind of says at the end of the letter, "Goodbye, my friends." Uh, yeah, that's right. So he's dead. I think it's left up to interpretation. Yeah. And plus, about Red 13, how did he have children? Yeah, if he was yeah. Remember that? Remember that? How did he have... Osmosis. <laughs> Osmosis. Well, Square Enix, you can answer that one for us, too. Why haven't you remade 7 and how did Red 13 procreate? And then, you they know... fucked a coyote. Yeah. Yeah, they yes. were in there. But anyway, you know, my other character that I was kind of sad to see that was Soap from Call of Duty. Modern yeah. Warfare. Yeah. Modern Warfare was like... I feel like we've had this conversation. We probably have. Deja vu, man. Sensation we've done something that we haven't done before. No, I think y'all had the same conversation in last week's episode. Nope. I was solo in last week's episode, so... Either that or you told me this stuff off camera. Yeah, probably. Probably. So, uh, anyway, Josh, what was your video game death? Uh... I'm not gonna fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking cried like a little bitch when Aerith died. Cause you don't fucking see it coming. I was like, yeah, you, you, I was like 11 years old, and I, you you go down into the Forgotten City, then all of a sudden I had Sarah an Rock. attachment because yeah, <laughs> that was I played nine first, then seven. Yeah. So you know I was familiar with you're gonna gain characters and all this crap, but when I played nine, I had unless they forced me, I had. Your original four characters: you know, Zidane, Vivi, Steiner, and Garnet. So, this was my original party on seven, because I had Cloud, Aerith, Aerith, Tifa, Tifa, Tifa titties, you know. And when I was, I couldn't have Tifa. I had Barrett. Yeah. You know, and force you. To You're like, see, Cloud. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I got 
I forget who the other person you pick up early on that you didn't fucking do, but I was like, fuck you, I'm not playing as you, you know. A red 13? It was no. red 13. You got him in the, um, in the, you got him in the Genova division. lab. Yeah. In Genova lab. But, fucking, all of a sudden, you know, this character, you know, my white mage that I've got leveled up pretty good. Derek. Run like, through. What the fuck? And Josh was like, my white mage, what am I going to do now for healing? <laughs> you know, not, sorry, Harris, you're dead. But That's kind of what it was, because in 9, I, it, you know, I depended on Garnet to be my healer. I didn't really carry a whole lot of items. Yeah. Because I carried weaponized items. Yeah. yeah. So, I know a lot one. of people out there to feel for Aerith, so I yeah. love. I would, like I said, when Vivi died, I, I was like, is he dead? Is he not dead? He just said goodbye. And then when Soap died, I was like, rest in peace, my Scottish brother. May the bagpipes play thee to your death. He hated dogs. Yeah. Really hated dogs. Yeah. Star Wars related, although unconfirmed and no longer canon, Dash Rendar. Oh, God, yeah. The End of Shadows of the Empire. Oh, yeah, that... That was like a kick in the feels right there. Now, I believe there are screenshots from the development stages. Yeah. Where there was a true ending, you know, happy ending where he didn't die. Yeah. But either I never got that when I owned the game or yeah, uh, maybe I made it up. <laughs> Josh, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say this one. Cortana. Not necessarily dead. Yeah, she's AI, so. There was that time that she did leave the chief before, and. You know, there was. She's not necessarily dead. Yeah. Now, one, one she character. She just exists in a system in an alternate reality, or a different. Yeah. Dimension. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But another, another video game character that kind of affected me was uh, more recently in Borderlands 2. When Roland died. Oh man, that but, was. But here's the thing: if you got new U stations, how did he stay dead? Yeah, that's fucking. How is Handsome Jack still <clears throat> dead? Yeah, he was the CEO of Hyperion. He could have new U'd himself. Yeah. How about that gearbox? Two K. Cancer that you? for us. And fucking patch Duke Nukem forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's been forever. <laughs> but that uh, brings us to this week's talking point, which is, if there were to be any more spinoffs from the Star Wars universe... Like Rogue One. Which character characters would you like to see have their own spinoff? Other than Boba Fett. Fuck you. <laughs> no, actually, the Mandalorians actually would be... The backstory behind that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, I would love to see how he got back to... Man you know, to... New Mandalore, and... I would like to see... Princess Leia's slave bikini. <laughs> that would be a porn. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I would like to see... Without Hayden Christensen... Anakin between episode 3 and 4. Like, the rise of the Empire. The yeah. construction of the original Death Star. That would be interesting. That would be actually good to see. Well, I want to say when I was a kid, I had some books that went over that, but, you know, books aren't fucking canon anymore, so... Yeah, fuck you, Disney. So Even though you, you've gone this, to Disney World many times now? Okay, I've only been there once. That was for my money. watching you now. You're in their system. What was that noise? That was my phone dying. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to make sure my camera just didn't do that again, yeah. so... But, um... Did you get that camera at Disney? No. <laughs> But anyway, you know, I did get the helmet from Disney. They do have a Star Wars section that's actually pretty decent. And they have a ride that's uh, Star Wars related. Star Tours. Eh. It's fun. A, a little spinoff that already happened, which was uh, <coughs> about Starkiller. That was interesting to me. I played, I played the first game. It's not canon anymore. I know. But anyway, th to me, I don't... I don't have any other characters that I would like to see in spinoff of, honestly. But that's just me. Yeah. So anyway, I believe that concludes talking points for today. Thank you for watching the special.
Fuck you, Disney. Yeah, fuck you, Disney. That's what we're gonna call the special. <laughs> we'll get more views if we is, use the word Disney, Michael, you know. Is Michael Eisner still head of Disney now, or is there somebody else? I don't know. I don't keep up with that. Yeah. I just remember Michael Eisner, Disney, blah, blah, blah. All, all I mean, is all, the only good thing about Disney is the parks, and I mean, on top of that, the Dole Whip. I, I will say this. The only thing that Disney is doing right currently is Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, Marvel has been untouched so far. So far. Not yeah. Going Except for the Captain America film, I, but I don't like Captain America from years ago, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were more of a Captain Soviet Union kind of guy. <laughs> Duh, like Vladimir Chinsky. <laughs> well, no, like, was, we're getting fucking way off topic now, but back in the day, you either liked Captain America or Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I was the only fucking kid that liked Spider-Man. No, no that, made, that made two of us remember. You left me. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? He's Captain, actually Captain Puerto, Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one star. Captain Cuba. Captain Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd be Captain Chile. <laughs> one of those fucking countries has a star on it. We'll figure it out eventually. Jerusalem. Well, we hope you <laughs> enjoyed uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this very uh, random video here. Don't you hot us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hot snack bar. <laughs> you could jihad him. Oh, fuck you. you know? ISIS, ISIS will be coming for us next. I was like, screw America. We won't try to force a chaos. Did, did you know they had a, a rapper? Vanilla ISIS? <laughs> oh, the song was ISIS, ISIS, baby. Hi. <laughs> 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 So, if you would like that, if yeah. you would please like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. If you don't, you're a douche. You can also check out our merch shop. Yeah. Where we have some awesome Buy our stuff. Shit. Yeah, we need we need money, people. Buy our shit. <laughs> you can also uh, follow me and Josh on Twitter. I don't do Twitter. Yeah, Will Will says Twitter Twitter is for homos and sick of fans. Yeah. And products of incest. Buy our ship. Borderlands. <laughs> Little Easter egg there for you people. Yeah. So anyway, buy, buy our, our shit. shit. <laughs> we will actually have licensed turds petrified <laughs> soon. Not ready. Yeah, vacuum sealed with the date of authenticity. <laughs> and a picture of Josh do, you know, while he's doing his deeds good. And, and what we ate to produce those said turds. Yeah. We'll just wrap it in a Cheeto bag and vacuum seal it for you. <laughs> also, somewhere in this area, provided I'm not too lazy to edit it in, uh, there should be a TOC official Snapchat QR code thingy. Point your phone at it, and it's supposed to add it. I don't know if it works, but yeah, it's supposed to. Because yeah. apparently y'all have been asking to fucking see behind-the-scenes shit, so... It's I'll, coming. I made a Snapchat. That's as good as you can get. Awesome. I might do it. It's not my personal Snapchat, so you're not getting dick pics. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to see the, the whole yeah. Brrr, routine, you know. All right, well. Uh, for but if you want my personal Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll we Subscribe are... to the channel. I won't talk. Yeah. <laughs> we are Triforce of Chaos. I'm Will. I'm Aaron. I'm this guy. <laughs> and may the fourth be with you. Always. <laughs>